the Japanese put nine bullets into my stomach. My lungs, liver, kidneys, intestines, everything was perforated. Nobody thought I'd ever live. My father, who was a doctor, wrote to me when I was in hospital, my son, you'll be shot through the lungs. If you smoke a cigarette, you'll be a dead man. You'll be shot through the kidneys and your liver. If you drink, you'll be a dead man. I listened to him and I nearly died. With the stacked up releases in December, the dark horse that most people are giving zero attention to is Sam Bahadur starring Vicky Kaushal directed by Meghna Gulzar. What one fails to recognize regarding what the makers have pulled off with the first look from the teaser is that Sam Manikshaw as an individual is probably one of the most complex individuals to pull off. There is a charm, undeniable, organic wit and humor that the legendary figure possesses that is so distinct that a portrayal by an actor becomes a mammoth task. This is no walk in the park for any actor, and Vicky Kaushal from the glimpses that I have seen in the teaser seems to carve out his path to be in the reckoning for another national award for this one. I want to address something that a lot of people are saying, and it probably stems from not having the context to how Sam Manikshaw was as a personality. There were comments about the teaser on how it still has a very filmy touch to the way the characters speak to one another, almost as if Sam Manikshaw as a personality has the most appropriate punchlines on standby while dealing with the most complex situations that hold national importance. But if you see any of Sam Manikshaw's interviews, you'll realize this was precisely what he was known for. He was quick on his feet, so much so that people were in awe of his magnetic personality, making his presence felt even when interacting with the most influential politicians, even if it meant the Prime Minister then, Indra Gandhi. Vicky, through the teaser, has not only imbibed the tone and pitch at which Sam Manikshaw spoke, but the body language in which he conducted himself, the slightest hunch and maintaining eye contact with whosoever he interacts with, Vicky seems to have really left no stone unturned in executing this role. What's interesting is that one of Vicky's most praised performances is that of Sardar Udham, where there was little to no video footage that he could reference for his role. Yet he had the ability to do justice in portraying the revered figure in modern Indian history. It just shows you when an actor like Kaushal has ample videos to use as reference for homework, the strides that he can truly make in making the performance memorable. The rich life experiences of Sam Manikshaw can literally be a series across several episodes, so I wonder how they are going to condense his life story as a feature film. You have to realize just the array of stories in his life that deserve the light of day, and whether it would be feasible in any way to fit them in the screenplay of a feature film. You look at the instances like being on the brink of death as he fought in Burma during the Second World War. The fact that he was still alive after being attacked by light machine gunfire is a marvel in itself. It is said that Manikshaw regained consciousness and when the surgeon asked what had happened to him, he replied that he was kicked by a mule. The filminess that you complain about with the dialogues of the teaser was inbuilt in the personality. Imagine removing seven bullets from lungs, liver and kidneys that even when he was gripping tightly to stay alive, he had to crack a good one for the amusement of others. You've got anecdotes of the accession of Kashmir to India and how it was due to the steadfastness of Sam Manikshaw and the orders by Sardar Patel while Jawaharlal Nehru was mostly pondering over the course of action to take that impeded the Pakistani tribals who were raping and pillaging just a few kilometers away from Srinagar in 1947. You've got the Calcutta riots and the nature in which he controlled the merciless killings taking place in the state. The nature in which he treated prisoners of war and how it stemmed from treating officers despite their nationality with dignity, and how this precisely generated so much criticism for him and his ways. The genuine fear among those in positions of power that time that Sam Manikshaw is so strong that he may have the ability to actually stage a coup against the government if he wanted. Everybody says you're going to take over from me. Now that shook me for about three seconds. I walked across. She has a long nose. I have a much longer one. I put my nose next to her. I said, what do you think? And she said, you can't. And I said, oh, you think I'm so incompetent? I didn't mean that, Sam, you wouldn't. And I said, much better, Prime Minister, much better. The one gripe that I do have, and this is only related to what excites audiences in the current state of the market, is that it would be tough to draw in the audience if the film does not provide that exhilarating big screen experience. 
and this is where the packaging and marketing of a film is so important especially when it goes toe to toe with ranbir kapoor's animal this is where also the marketing strides taken by uri the surgical strike differs from sam bahadur where sam bahadur is more of a character study across an individual's life versus uri which was a high octane patriotic action film do me a favor and just go back to the trailer of uri right after this video and tell me you don't get pumped to see that film on the big screen in this regard strictly from a marketing standpoint sam bahadur will hugely have to depend on a strong word of mouth so that it garners an audience because this is a tale that deserves a huge patronage versus just being restricted to cinema enthusiasts the stories are endless and just to see how the makers have given due respect and have paid attention to several details about his personality makes me hugely excited for this project i think people are underestimating just the complexity of pulling off this character and one will realize this even more as they read up and see more about sam monic shaw the army man and more importantly the personality wiki really is proving to be a chameleon with respect to his role selection and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the sam bahadur teaser please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching